stuff everywhere. Hi. I just got done scratching my scratch-off tickets. These are all losers, which I know Dad will want to look at anyway. He likes to double-check. And I have, I think I won, let me see, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine dollars in scratch-off tickets. Better than a stick in the eye. Um, I'll cash those in tomorrow. Yesterday I just kind of unplugged. I left my phone plugged in next to my bed on silent. I did not get on the computer. I watched stuff on the DVR. I stayed in my pajamas all day. I just had a day of... I'm a bit kind of stressed yesterday. I had a very stressful day. <laughs> just that feeling because there's... Um, you know, with the party and trying to figure out how I'm going to do things because I'm a gimpy ass and um, the business, there's some stress with the business and um, hopefully that'll get ironed out here in this next week and um, family, uh, sick family, my cousin Jackie the guy out in Oregon, he's he had open heart surgery. I think he had a quadruple bypass. He has an infection. He's doing iffy. Um, and uh, my cousin Nikki got out of ICU, which is good. And because um, Grandma kind of goes through me, because I can talk to some of them on the computer, where well, she don't, can't, and um, so. Yeah, but my Aunt Geneva did get out of the hospital, and she's in the nursing home now. Hopefully just uh, get her strength up and maybe be able to go back home. Um, so, yeah. Um, and then last night, I just, I, I kind of had a minor meltdown. I, the poor Angie's, I wrote them a message last night saying, please let me come up there and can we go out to shop and just for something. <sighs> so I'm going to go over there tomorrow for just a little bit. I don't know what time. They haven't told me. It's just been one of those two days. I'm a whiff. I'm a whiff. So I don't know what time I finally fell asleep last night because my mind was just like whoa, whoa. So yeah, we're getting ready now to go to a party, a surprise party, a birthday, I told you about for the our commander of the legion, which is going to be in the same room where the humpers party is going to be. So I can scoop it out. And I have an envelope with some invites and I'm going to sneak into my purse and give the peeps while I'm there. Um... Tomorrow I'm hoping to buy. See, the problem is I'm gonna have to clean out my whole back seat, and uh, I'll be able to lay the one seat down so I can stack up some stuff. I want to get some water, bottled water, and soda, and I want to hopefully get to a place that sells decorations, and go to a couple dollar stores and maybe get plates, look around, um, that kind of stuff. And I want to drop all that off at Larry and Joni's in the garage. They're not going to be there, but they're going to leave it unlocked for me, so they're going to let me store stuff at their house. Then I'm going to go out and see her on Tuesday and uh, tell Larry the plan of what his job is. <laughs> and um, But yesterday in the mail, I got um, a birthday card from Grandma with a check. Did you know, Grandmas are the best cupcakes. Um, you know, that's the one thing I didn't have this year. I didn't have, like, a birthday cake or a birthday cupcake or anything like that. That's odd. Um. Take all these scratch-off tickets out there and throw the... Ugh, I just got that stuff all over again. Mm. Um. I'm going to cash my birthday checks. I'm going to take this, um, card from Spunky Sue with me tomorrow shopping. And I gotta load my Amazon card onto my Amazon thing later on tonight too. 
I might look around on there for you know what the humper wants every time we have tacos he always asks for this is a hard shell taco holder that will hold his taco up while he's making it so he doesn't have to hold it so I'm going to look at the dollar stores if any of y'all are at a dollar store or at a store and you see that tell me I will send you money for it um, I'm sure maybe they'll have them on Amazon that's one of the things the humper wants yeah every single time we have tacos he goes I wish I had a taco holder And then I got a box in the mail yesterday from Mr. Crouton Cracker Jacks, Jason. You know, I know he's a crafty um, cook and mofo, but he truly is. He made me this for my birthday. It's a, it's a book. He didn't make the book, but he looked online for something he could make, and he looked up or this came up for origami, and he folded the pages. And it says dream. Look at that. Ain't that awesome? So when I do my bookshelves, I'm going to set this up on my bookshelf. Um, to where it looks out like that. Who can do that? How do you even know how to fold it? I mean, how do you get it down right to where it looks that perfect? I mean, look at it. <laughs> it looks like a type from a typewriter. It's so straight and... You are a crafty mofo. But right now I'm leaving the ribbon on it um, to keep it all safe. I've learned if I squeeze the corner, I can get the ribbon on really easy. And it just stays. What is the book? It is by Lily White. No. Okay. I don't know. It's either by Lily White and it's called Susan Isaacs or it is by Susan Isaacs and it's called Lily White. Maybe it's by Susan Isaacs and it's called Lily White. I have no idea, really. Um, so thank you so much, Jason. That is awesome. I have never seen such a thing. You, did you film any of this? Did you film any of this origami? I hope you did because I want to see it. I want to see it happening. Because it would be cool if you filmed it and like did a time lapse where it goes really fast. That would be fun to watch. Only because it was my gift. <laughs> it would be fun to watch anyway. But that's awesome. That's a nifty, I a nifty idea to do for somebody. Um, it doesn't cost a lot of money. You can usually get books at a garage sale. It's really cheap. It's a nice hardback book. And just your time of folding the pages neat all right it is 12:45. we're gonna leave here in a little bit the surprise guest comes at two we're gonna get there around 1 30 and um i've still got all my birthday stuff back here sitting i, I know where i'm gonna put my sloth i think i'm gonna redo my bookcases wait let me get them back in front. over here i'm gonna um dust them all off and re man my bed looks like a bomb Oof! I know they're crooked they're always crooked don't talk about pictures they're crooked I know I like them like that gives them character so I think he's gonna go up on my shelf I have one other stuffed animal up on the shelf it was my mom's teddy bear when she was in the um hospital so he'll live up there on the shelf somewhere do you know that apparently you can have a pet sloth? Two toed sloth, they say, um, does better in um, as pets. That they do better as pets. There are breeders in Florida. Somebody had put a comment on one of my videos. I haven't answered comments, but I read them on my phone when I'm when I was laying in bed last night because it's, I hate that you can't just answer an individual comment on your phone. But uh. A person had looked into it and found the breeders in Florida and I was looking online I'm like you can oh my goodness so person if you ever live in Florida and you get some sloths I'm coming to visit you so I could hold them <laughs> can you imagine oh that'd be so fun to have a pet sloth I would love it they can't run away they're too slow that's one animal I can keep up with 
They're my speed. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna go now. So, see you later. Bye.